about 1988, well, I've always knew the Lord. Well, I didn't always know the Lord. <laughs> but when I was nine years old, I got saved. Hold on a minute. I'm trying to get my notes here all organized. Liberty, that's right. <coughs> Thank you, Jesus. God, you're good. Thank you, sweet Jesus. When I say it's 61, Hallelujah. Oh, yeah. Oh, boy. Oh, yeah. 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 Oh, it took me to heal the broken hearted, to proclaim liberty to the captive, and to open the prison to those who are bound, and proclaim the step of the year of the Lord. This is the year that's Amen. Amen. And year of Jubilee. Amen. 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 And, and the day of vengeance, as what comes yes. through the saints, yes. to our God, to comfort all who mourn, yes. and to console them to mourn and sign, to give them beauty for ashes. Yes. And the oil of joy for mourning, yeah. and a garment of praise yeah. for the spirit of heaviness, yeah. that they may be called the trees of righteousness, yeah. and the planting of the Lord, that he is, that he may be glorified. Yeah. And then on the bottom of number, um, going down above seven, instead of your shame, yeah. you shall double honor. Yeah. And instead of confusion, they shall rejoice in their portion. Therefore, yes. in the land they shall possess double. Everlasting joy shall be theirs. Amen. Amen. So I thought we're going to believe. And God has done that for me. And But it's been a process. <laughs> I need to receive what God did for me. But he's going to do that for all y'all. And he has done it for all y'all. And he's continued. It's a continued thing, ain't it? We read this every day. It's not just a one-day thing, right? <laughs> uh -huh. But I, I just want to share. Um, there was a time in my life. I got. Uh, I'm real, originally from Southern Ohio. Is there any Southern Ohio? Ohio? All of you there, back here in the back. Southern Ohio. I'm, I'm originally from a little town called Jackson. You've heard of Johnny Cass and Jim Burst saying, I'm going to Jackson. <laughs> well, anyway. <laughs> well, anyway, no, I'm just kidding. But no, they didn't sing that song. But anyway, that was a song called Jackson. Well, I was from a little out town outside of that. My daddy was a country, uh, I was from the country, and um, um, my mother had nine children, and uh, one of them had passed away before I was born, maybe to, to, I mean, between a little bit of those <laughs> But anyway, so many you can count, yeah. But anyway, uh, but, uh, God gave my my daddy the ability to make money, and he was a cattleman and a businessman. And um, and my mama was a God fearing, stay at home mother, which she had to. <laughs> And she was from this country, we, they, were, they were originally from Kentucky, and uh, they went right over the river, the Ohio River, and settled there, and they went that far from the Ohio River, and West Virginia, they got it on that area. So, um, I was raised up in an field, and I was just a country girl, always loved country music, just loved country, bluegrass, and my dad, they would sing bluegrass, and have, you know, but anyway, um, my daddy, uh, when I when I was we was raised up there, raised on a farm, and and uh, down through the years, I did not know uh, that my daddy was an alcoholic, and uh, but uh, he never drank a drop at all. He had quit for 15 years after my one my the little sister that passed away for me, so he stopped drinking. So I didn't know him ever drinking. And, I ne never knew nothing about him doing that, and, but only when he, when I turned 11 years old, um, we we sat home here in school. That's how y'all probably wonder how that school. So we used to go back and forth to school, and uh, we did that uh, every year. So I, so my uh, my father had passed away, but 
We bought a home down here and we had the farm up there and we used to go back and forth because he couldn't stand the winters because of his heart. He had a bad heart. And um, so, um, and when I was 11 years old, he had took a drop of alcohol and in a uh, pretzel, that's in the spice, and that hooked him. He went back for three and a half years. I it was hell, and he it, it got him good this time. And my mom was a godly woman. Uh, she prayed. I mean, she was one of them that Daddy kind of kept her back uh, to the pregnant. <laughs> and uh, she was uh, learned to drive when I was probably 11, 12 or something. And uh, and she never drove until then. And then, uh, but he took her everywhere, you know. And a lot of the old timers back then, if you all know, I don't know, but they did that. That's how things was. And they, they, the women were okay with that. Yeah. And nowadays, we just like, what? <laughs> oh, wait, <so>. no. <laughs> Sorry about that, man. <laughs> well, <laughs> anyway. I but anyway, <laughs> oh, yeah, I don't <laughs> but anyway um, moving around along, um, she <laughs> she she never she never learned to drive until I was about eleven or twelve, and then um, like I said, my father started drinking, and he went he would go off for a while, and he'd get up back to his quit, and he would try, and, and he got saved, and and he, he would just go back and forth and, and he I remember many times that these old timers that knew him around here and part of the men would go visit him and pray for him and stuff and he received Jesus. He was a humble man. He just had this demon on his back. And we've seen things that I've seen stuff as a kid that was just it was you freak out. I mean I mean I imagine some of you probably have. I don't know what you have to walk through. But I've seen things that, that he'd put his cigarettes on the floor and just leave them there and throw them on the floor and, and you'd have to put them out or pick them up and tell him he'd be so drunk. See? And he was a real bad alcoholic. And down the road, he, he'd had seizures after seizures. His heart was swelling on him because of the alcohol. And he was only 68 years old, but he looked about 70 something years old or 80. Because of the the alcohol, I mean, and and like I said, he was back and forth. I mean, we prayed for him. Mommy would pray, and and like I said, I got saved at a little country church up in when I was nine years old in a little uh, Bible Baptist, I mean, a vacation Bible school, and 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 I got saved that early in that life, and I knew the Lord. But as I got older, and after my father passed away, and then uh, you know there's only four or five kids left, maybe four of us left, and they all started getting married, and, and so I was 14 when he died, and then so it kind of, uh, you just, there's a void when you're missing your father, and that structure, and then three years that he was around, he was not really a father, he, was, he didn't know how, I mean, it was, but the Lord always showed me, when I was a little child, that that was not my dad. The daddy I knew was the one I knew before. And I don't know who that man was, <laughs> but that was my father. And and I had such a love for him. And it was like someone had just, like God had poured a grace over me and over my heart. And actually all of our family and all the people that knew him knew that one, that one side. That was him, Cyrus Sam. And that was him. So, and so there was a grace. And knew that the Lord that wasn't that wasn't the people that that's not them people. So when you look at someone out there, then people that on alcohol or, or crack cocaine or being rocked, that is not them. That's, right. that's a demon. That's right. I didn't understand as a child. My mom, we did. We, I grew up at this. I didn't understand things like I do now. And even that, you know, yeah. you know, it, it, it power of God. So, anyway, down through the years, I got married at an early age of 17. I, I married a man that was abusive and alcohol. He was an alcohol and drugs himself. 
So I married him at an early age. Everybody was on me. Everybody told me, Sharon, don't marry him. Don't do it. Don't do it. Don't do it. I'm like, but I love you. I love you. <laughs> and I couldn't see for looking, you know. 